Hello everyone, I'm Emma and today we have a brand new Stardew Valley playthrough and this one is going to be quite the challenge. If you've been around the streams on the Discord you're going to know our mod May and she came up with this challenge along with several others and you can find those in the Stardew Valley challenges channel in the Discord which is linked in the description. This particular one is called the One Life Challenge and as the name suggests we only have one life. We're allowed to pass out from like time but not from being killed by an enemy or if our other stats reach zero so like eating and drinking which this is going to be a modern playthrough. There's going to be hunger and thirst. A little bit nervous about that. There's also going to be more to it as well so we've got a custom farm map. We've also got some much harder community centre bundles and there's going to be a few little scary surprises on the way. We don't want to spoil the entire thing right away but the full mod pack is going to be in the discord anyway under the one life challenge. You can download it from there and I think there are a few cheeky settings that have been switched on. I had a little call with May yesterday to go through and thank you so much for your time for that May. Now the overall goal for this particular challenge is going to be to complete one room of the community centre and survive one full year. You might think these are pretty modest goals, but um, you're going to see why this is still very much a challenge. So I guess we should probably go and make our farm. All right, so I've set up my like appearance and stuff. We're going to call the farm the Doom Manor Farm because it sounds scary. If you're going to play along with the challenge, select the map that would have been the standard farm. It's called the Dead Little Farm. And then in the settings, we want expert community sender bundles. I'm going to ignore this because I think it's just about the red cabbage seed and I don't know how essential it's going to be. Uh, my rewards need to be remixed and of course we've got to spawn monsters on the farm at night and I think that's all the settings that we're going to change so I'm going to hit OK here. Of course we're going to skip the intro, same as any other intro and I guess let's get started. Oh I'm so nervous, uh, which cat do I want to pick? I actually want to pick a... actually no you know what we're going to go with a guard dog this time I think. We'll do that but uh, let's go I'm so nervous. <laughs> Of course, first thing we do is grab our parsnip seeds and uh, let's have a look in the journal. Anything different here? No. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, this looks so weird. I don't have any recolor mods on. I completely forgot about that, but I don't think we want to change it anyway because I'm happy to change it up a bit, you know, every now and again and not have it. Right, let me set up my hotbar the way I like it because I'm going to get confused otherwise. We've got some mail as well. Hello, Emma. Welcome to Hardew Valley. In this new experience, everything will be harder, which translates into less earnings and longer play times. But that's what you were looking for, right? A challenge, not a game that ends at year three. In the next few days, you'll receive information about various mod stuff in your mailbox. Stay tuned. So depending on how the challenge goes, we may end up taking this to perfection possibly, or at very least completing the community centre, I'm not entirely sure yet. But for now, let's focus on the main goal of the challenge, which is the one room in the community centre and the surviving the first year. I think that's the bit that we're going to struggle with. We've also got another mail here, but we've got a wooden sword to start off with, which is nice because monsters can come out literally anywhere after 8pm, so that's the bit I'm kind of scared about. Let's go ahead and put that straight in my hotbar. Oh no, taxes! Oh... Dear taxpayer, this letter is to inform you that your recent address change to Pelican Town Stardew Valley has been filed and registered. All future correspondence will be directed to the farm. We kindly remind you that federal income tax contributions are due on the second of every season. For your convenience, your due obligations will be automatically deducted from your balance. If your balance is insufficient, a loan will automatically be issued to your name, subject to the nominal interest fee of 11% per annum. Oh my god. Oh, there are taxes. Wait, how do I know how much my taxes are? Okay, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, So whilst we are just kind of cleaning up and setting up our first parsnips and such, I'll talk a little bit about what we're going to do with the format of the series just had to turn on animation cancelling there so city rich series started off as being four days and then we extended it to double the length so it was eight days at a time but i think it will line up a lot nicer if we did it a week at a time in game i think it's just going to fit a lot better so we'll go with that now i'm noticing my hunger and thirst is already going down so i'm going to have to be very careful with my energy use here hello why can't i till wait what where am i supposed what <laughs> where do i where do I plot my crops? Oh my god, what? Hello? I'm curious if my not being able to till yet is part of the game. But maybe we first focus on getting a chest down, so... And oh my god, it costs 100... Wait, what's that? Raw water? You boil it. Oh my goodness. So we're probably going to need a campfire as well, because drinking's a thing. But we can craft water out of fibre. 100 wood for a chest though? My goodness. Okay, well I better get to chopping, I guess. I'm going to try and leave these stumps behind so that I can farm for the tree seeds for the field snacks because food is going to be very important. There's no way I'm going to be able to make a chest without dying of thirst so um, I'm going to have to leave that till later. I'll try and drop my stuff behind for now because I can't, I literally can't make a chest. Obviously I can't drop my tools so I'm going to drop literally everything else. I think I can drop the sword though actually. Oh no, I'm going to need it, I'm going to need it, I'm going to keep it. Oh good grief. 
Let's go foraging. Hopefully we can get some stuff that restores some thirst. So obviously a daffodil is not really going to give us anything. Does it show on the forage? Not entirely sure. I don't think it does. Or does that just mean it restores no thirst? I think it does restore some. It just doesn't tell me. And I guess this is a good chance for us to go and meet people around town as well. But I do want to kind of have most of my focus on foraging. See, can I? Okay, so I can till dig spots, but for some reason I can't till on my own farm yet. I know we already know Robin, but I might as well get a couple of friendship points and we'll introduce ourselves to everyone else here. Probably not Sebastian, we're not going to be able to get in there. But we'll just make progress with the introductions because we're also going to need the money from the quest as well. Say hello to Linus. I'm not going to worry too much about friendships, especially at the beginning because... Oh no. The moon rises. Today's phase of waxing crows and expect something at 9.30. I couldn't read that in time. Anything in the backwards? I don't think there is. I'll just do a loop back down to the forest. Just like using my sword doesn't use anything, so I'm kind of happy about that because that would scare me if so. As I'm passing through as well, I will leave my fibre and stuff behind. I might as well pick up the sap and put it in a little pile. Definitely hoping there is a way to get down to the forest this way. I think there is down here. Maybe this way? Yes, that'll do it. Say hello to Jazz on our way past. Come on, give me some forage. I'm guessing looking at my bar as well, my hunger's going down over time just from kind of walking around, which makes sense, or like as time passes. I'm not sure if it's the walking or the time passing, but it's either of them. I mean, I don't think I need any of the forage at this level for the community center anyway, like knowing the more bundles, oh, spring onions, it's going to be a lot harder than that, like probably gold star ones. So munching on a few dandelions probably wouldn't hurt. So let's see how much they increase the bar. Okay, so it increased our energy, but it didn't seem to make our hunger go up. What about spring onions? Okay, spring onions actually make a difference, so maybe we don't eat dandelions for hunger. <laughs> I don't really want to eat the leek yet because I've only got one of them, and I'm hoping at some point forage seeds might be a good idea. Oh, we've got Haley out here, hello. I am the new farm girl or whatever, thank you very much. <laughs> and also you might have noticed as well, eating actually increased our thirst bar too. So I'm just going to check something out real quick. Okay, so we got back outside this little cave here. The reason we can't till on our farm is because this is our actual farm area. I'm not sure what this uh, pond is about. I wonder if we can fish in it at all. Is there anything that's going to come out of these worms? Literally nothing. Okay, lovely. So let's get planting those parsnips. I recognize I haven't actually got them on me. Should probably go get them. And we'll get them planted in here and hopefully they'll be all right. And as far as I'm aware, they I don't know if they take longer to grow or they sell for less, but this pack is evil. There's a lot of modifications to the way the game works. I'm curious as to what happens if I eat a daffodil. Just looking at the bar right now and literally nothing. Okay, so don't do that. Good to know. So I think what I might do is any remaining... Oh no, because I don't know if our hunger and stuff restores in the morning. So I'm going to eat the last two spring onions here. I am tempted to just go to sleep. You know what? We're going to try and meet some more people first. That's what we're going to do. Oh, we've got Harvey on his way past. I'm going to miss him if I don't catch him right before he goes in the door. Hello. We'll say hello to Pierre here. We've also got Caroline. Actually, I can give Caroline a daffodil. Aren't daffodils beautiful? Oh my god, <gasps> there's custom dialogue for the gifts. There's truly so many varieties of flowers blooming in the valley all year round. Oh, bless her. Oh, I love that. I need to install this for every single pack I have. We've got Alex and George in here. Oh, Evelyn's in the kitchen too. I feel like her clothing kind of blends in with the rug. <laughs> can we get the... Oh, wait, so does it show if there's anything in the bin? I guess so. So you don't have to pick stuff up from the... Interesting. Okay. Well, we know that's the thing now and I'm noticing the time. So 8 p.m. It's going to get a little bit dangerous. So I'm slowly going to start wandering back towards the farm because I'm kind of nervous. Why do they have to be daffodils? Give me some actual food. Hunger and stuff's going down again. Oh no, I'm going to have to eat these, aren't I? Maybe we can buy something from the saloon for a very small amount of money. Let's have a look. Oh, there's people here to meet too. So let's have a look at Gus's. Salads are 50. So that's really good. I'm actually going to buy two of them and let's see how much one gives us. Okay, that gives us a huge amount. So salads are probably going to be the way to go we'll meet everyone here whilst we're here and then i am going to make my way home because i'm really really nervous all right everyone met how many people have we done now 18 out of 28 okay that's some pretty good progress ah oh my god i just walked straight outside to a skeleton <laughs> dust sprites as well i'm literally just ignoring all the monsters and running there's nothing over here at the oh no there's a skeleton up there i'm kind of worried about how much the farm is going to have on it oh no we're good we're, everything's fine let's just um go to sleep so what i'm going to do is oh inventory full i can't move my stuff around hang on i'm gonna move that up there and the bed as i always do put by the door and then let's get some sleep first day i think i missed a moon notice down there now what does it say about our taxes okay so this is about the backpack upgrade oh we've got the fishing rod as well fishing is probably going to be a good way to go for energy and i noticed that the hunger and thirst does not regenerate overnight so that's definitely worth knowing Let's just um, water all of our crops today. 
then I am going to go ahead and chop down some more trees. I am going to also be careful about... Uh, oh, I need to put some stuff on the floor. I'm going to also be careful about um, how much energy I use. So what am I going to drop? Probably the daffodils, not the coal. There we go. And I think I will just go ahead and eat that other salad straight away this morning. I've also got a couple of mixed yeast to plant, so I will go ahead and do that shortly. But first, we've finally got enough wood to make a chest. I'm going to shove that straight down the side of the house and we're going to gather everything up and put it inside. So um, I don't need to bring most of this with me. Actually, I need the watering can in a second. I am noticing UI Info Suite is telling me I've got the sticky bundle, so that's kind of terrifying. Is it the same sticky bundle? Oh, I haven't got to look up anything, so we're going to have to wait until we've got the community center open. Okay, so both of the mixed seeds turned out to be parsnips. Lovely. I guess we're going to have to go back out again in search of like food and stuff. So I'm going to remove that. Let's go up through the backwards. Oh no, I need to go to Willy as well, don't I? You know what? We're going to go straight down to the beach. So because all the tiles on my farm are like literally not tillable, we're going to have to rely a lot more on things like animals and maybe even sheds. Especially if we want to grow enough crops to get to maybe perfection eventually. Sheds and garden pots are probably going to be the way forward. Can I look in the trash? Does that mean there's nothing in there? I guess I need to see what it looks like if there is something in there. Let's skip the fishing rod cutscene. We already know what that's all about. And then I'm literally just going to go ahead and catch my first fish and probably eat it straight away. Oh, tiny fishing bowl, my goodness. I've just been in the process of recording another 100 days of Stardew and obviously over the course of the year, fishing bar gets a bit bigger. First fish is a sardine. Let's get that straight in our mouth. So how much does that give us? Okay, that gives us a fair amount of hunger and thirst. I am going to pop to the forest real quick, I think, actually, and just see if there are any spring onions. Do these give us anything? I don't think they do. Well, they do give us some money, though, so I might just go ahead and... Should I sell these straight away? I kind of need to keep them for the community center. Hmm. Yeah, I'll keep them for now. Maybe I'll just sell the clam because we know those come up pretty frequently. We've already spoken to Haley. Let's go meet Jody. Spectre Moon set at 9.30. We'll have to stay up past 9 30 and see what happens today kind of curious <laughs> do we have any spring onions today we have actually we've got quite a few this is going to be really helpful the xp and for our hunger and thirst plus at the moment at my foraging level they stack pretty nicely i'm so close to foraging level one that's so annoying right let's eat a couple before i die of thirst then we can make our way back to the beach there's leah quick say hello hi leah good morning Oh, I should probably go meet- oh, I was gonna say I was gonna go meet Marnie, but I realised that she's probably not in. So who have I not met yet? I've kind of forgotten. I know Sebastian's one of them. Penny, Vincent, Jody, Marnie, Elliot. I should probably also go and have a look at seeds as well from Pierre. So maybe we'll do that also. I'm also curious to know if there's anywhere I can fish on my farm, because I did notice some water, so we can give it a go. Let's go interrupt the class. So we've got Jody and we've got Marnie. Probably should have brought a daffodil with me for Caroline. I don't even know how good tea sap things would be on this playthrough. But let's have a look at seeds. So, yeah, has backyard kale. Ew, that sounds so gross. I don't really want to buy those. Oh, golden strawberry seeds. 50 days to mature. All right, that's going to definitely be a year two thing if we do year two. Uh, but I need to buy probably some cauliflower and potatoes. So I can afford, I'm going to buy one of each for now just because I need to keep some money. Should I get another potato? I'm going to get one more potato. I need to save some money to be able to buy food and I'm probably going to go and do that and buy a couple of salads. Although I don't really have the space for it. I don't know. Should I? No, because I'm going to fish soon. I'm going to go home and put these things in a chest and plant the seeds and maybe we'll go fish somewhere closer to home. So let's test fishing in this little pond. I don't think we can, you know. No, I might have just wasted a load of energy and stuff with doing that. I think this little pond is actually just here to fill our watering can. I don't think it's going to be fishable. No, that's fine. Do these worms give me anything? No, they don't. I wonder why it's keep showing me dig spots with nothing in them. I guess that's part of the trick of the game is it might just literally be worms. All right, we'll go up to the lake and fish up there and I'm keeping my sword on me because obviously we don't know how survivable it's going to be on the way back, but we're doing all right so far. I'm hoping as well with being up here, Sebastian will come out at some point. Oh, and there's a bubble spot too. Perfect. If I can actually hit it, that would be lovely. That would do. Oh my goodness. I might have to... I think there's a trick to this. I think I can zoom in enough so that we can't hear that rock being smacked. So if I stand like a little lower, so we can still fish here, but now we don't have to hear the rock being hit. Oh my God, the fishing mini game when it's enormous. Literally near the entire height of my screen. That's wild. Are we going to be able to catch anything that's not a chub? Let's get a couple of spring onions to get our hydration and stuff up. Actually, I want to see how much one of these fish does. So this does 15 hydration, 25 fullness and 13 energy. So that's going to be a really good way to go. So maybe we do want to catch more of those chubs. I'm noticing as well, we're only getting a very tiny amount of XP for them, which is not ideal. I'm sure that in the vanilla game, you get more than five XP for a chub. So I think this is another way that it's been altered. I did manage to catch a bullhead. I'm going to save that. But so far, this bubble spot's being very kind to us. Ooh, a cop. I feel like at the moment, it's having to like relearn an entirely new game in a way. I'm truly curious if 
like the backyard kale and backyard potato are in the shop just like for fun or if they have a purpose. You might have noticed as well when we were in Piers, I didn't have all the seeds available and I'm pretty sure one of the mods that is in this pack is the seed shop progress one. So it's going to make things a lot harder. Can I get anything that's not out of your trash, please? That was a really horrible string of catches. We've actually got a fish now, but the bubble spots ran out, so that's not ideal. All right, I'm going to eat some more spring onions, get some energy back. Actually, the energy is terrible. Let's try. I think the algae is not much better. How much does that give us? It's also eight. Oh, goodness. Um, Let's eat another chub then. <gasps> Sebastian's down there. I don't want to give him anything. Let's just say hello. I guess I'll fish over here for a couple more minutes. As soon as monsters start coming out, then I'm going to run. Thankfully, we've got a carp here, so that makes it a bit easier. I might just run down past the community center because I'm hoping there's going to be more daffodils there. We really need that foraging XP. Ooh, dust broke. Ignore it. Ignore it. We don't need it. What are those? Oh, are those those weird? Yep. Rock golem things. Oh my gosh, there's more here. Maybe this was a mistake. I think we're okay so far, though. Just got to be very careful. Thankfully, everything so far seems to be one shot, so that does help a lot. I don't see any daffodils, so this is kind of a wasted trip. Mind you, can I get... Are these... Are they, they're the stone ones, aren't they? They're not the wilderness golems. Maybe they are, I don't know. <gasps> ah, I'm so worried about my health. The moon sets today's phase is waxing crescent. I wonder what that means for us. I don't have that much knowledge about, like, moon phases and what they mean and stuff, so, um, especially in terms of, like, gameplay and whatever. <laughs> that makes me a little bit nervous. Get my watering can ready for tomorrow. Should I keep the chubs on me for now? I think I will. Then we'll go to bed because I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first rainy day. Not that it matters. Oh, that's why. So obviously our plants are in this cave. Can't rain in the cave, so I'm still going to have to water them on rainy days, which is just... Wait, maybe not. Oh, it's raining in here too. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I thought it was kind of like an intentional thing that when it rains, you still have to water your plants, but... I'm so glad that it showed me a kindness in some way. I am going to bring a daffodil to Caroline as well. And actually, wait, where's my shipping bin? There's no shipping bin? Hang on a minute. Or is it up there? Oh, no, it's up there. Okay. I thought it was just gone. I'm going to ship a daffodil and um, a sap. What else do I want to ship? Probably a couple of carp. I just want to get some of the shipping things done. So let's put all of those in there. Oh, and a spring onion. And then hopefully some more have spawned today. If I can make my way through, that is. We'll do a little foraging loop in this direction too, because hopefully we'll find some more things to get us to foraging level one. Except so far there is absolutely nothing and I didn't bring my hoe to till this spot. Oh no. I'm usually really good with that. I pretty much always have my hoe. Oh well. Luckily there are quite a lot of spring onions and there's the level up. So we'll see what we unlock tomorrow. I don't know if it's any different on this pack. Honestly can't wait to find out. I just realised as well I don't think I'm going to see Caroline today as well because it is raining and I don't think she actually goes out when it's raining. And obviously being a Wednesday I can't actually get into Pierre's so that plans out the window. I'm just going to go ahead and eat this one spring onion now just to free up the extra space. And then I don't know if I go and just fish up by the lake again but then it's raining so maybe I should go for another area. I really need to handle all the rest of my meeting people as well. I'm also noticing Penny's missing from the map as well so I don't know if that's like a bug or something i'm gonna have to check like other places like apparently at the moment no one's at the library is it just not spawned vincent and penny and such i don't know i mean he's definitely oh no he's there he's there oh is it because i haven't met him i think it's because i haven't met them yet i understand this is i think this is because i'm using not npc map locations it might just be the way ua info suite does it i don't know or i don't know if there's like another mod that does it. I guess it kind of makes sense that it doesn't show up on the map if you don't know. All right, Penny definitely isn't here yet. What I do know is that Elliot would definitely be my last person to meet because it is raining. Oh, there's Penny. I did not realize we hadn't met Abigail yet. So it's just these three left. I guess we'll just have to happen upon them at some point. I think what I'll do until Woody closes is I'm going to fish down here. It just means that we can sell the fish straight away to him. Oh, actually, can I get a training rod? I can. Oh, it's 25 as well. I swear it used to be 50. I'm probably just going to bin the bamboo pole because I'm not going to use that. The next pole I'll use will be definitely the- Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I forgot I could do this. Wait, so how do I- There was a button to dive, I think. So what happens if I press F? <gasps> We're underwater now. Wait, what is that? I guess I can just forage under here. And I think- Oh, there's treasure down here. Okay. So I'm moving over this way. I, I really need to see what this treasure is. I completely forgot about the diving. And as you can see, my breath goes up as well. Wait, so why is it moving? Do I have to kill it? How do I? How do I? Okay, the, the, the chest is just moving. I don't know if it's just a decoy. Well, in that case, I'm going to hop out the water. 
Am I gonna fish? No, there was a bubble spot here and it's gone. Okay, should we just dive instead? Because that was kind of fun. How did I get in the water? I don't know how I did it. It says E for jumping in the water, but I, I'm pressing E and it's not letting me in. Is there only certain spots? Okay, so I just turned on auto swimming, which is J. So let's try going down here. <gasps> Nautilus shells. That's huge. I got the fishies as well. That's adorable. Give me that. Oh, I just made it. Is there anything down here? I am wondering if I just have to chase that chest down enough for it to go in the water or something. Oh, I can't go under the pier. Okay, well, let's try swimming over here. Can I eat in the water? I can. Okay, that's good to know. I don't want to die of hunger in the water. I've literally just drowned. That would not be good. I'm getting so sidetracked. So I think it was somewhere around here. It's here. So what do I do? Do I just chase this to the shore? It says zero. Do I need a pickaxe? Or what do I need? Oh, it's because of the breath. Let's try just chasing this to the shore and see what happens. No, it goes to the side. How do I... I wanted to see if there was something that might have told me. I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to need to come back with like my pickaxe or something. I need that loot. This is like one of the few times I don't bring my pickaxe somewhere. Ah, okay. Maybe that's why we turn off auto swimming. All right, that's off now. See if we can catch one fish at least. <laughs> Got a sardine. And then should I just go and sell it straight away? Oh no, it's 5 p.m. Damn it. I missed it. Okay, well, I might as well just fill up my inventory and go home. <laughs> oh no, Willie's going to get annoyed with me, isn't he? Oh no, he's going away. Oh no, he doesn't fish in the rain, does he? Probably going straight to the saloon. First fishing treasure chest and it's mixed seeds. Lovely. Okay, well, I do think we should go and meet like Abigail and Oh, big spot. Give me something. Just clay. Okay. Wonderful. We'll maybe see if Sam's out of his room at this point. Hopefully he is. No, he's still in there. Damn it. Is he going to come out for like dinner or something? Or has he just gone back in there? Oh, how annoying. And I do think that Abigail's not even going to acknowledge us. I'm wondering if she's up at the lake trying to... Um... Ooh, Pam's buying an anchovy. I will absolutely give her an anchovy. I just got 100% distracted there, but I'm assuming that Abigail is going to just not respond to us over at the lake. There's your anchovy. Wow, 30 gold, but it's the friendship we care about, kind of. <laughs> nope, I thought she was going to be up here playing her flute, but she is not. I wonder if it's because it's a Wednesday, I don't know. I think what I might do for the rest of this day is just clean up some more of the farm because there isn't that much space around. I should probably plant those mixed seeds as well, or do I wait for those? I don't know. Even if it's just a little bit of cleanup, I just want to make sure I've got some clear paths to the main places I want to go. Definitely not expecting anything to be perfect at this point. Ooh, slime. I'm trying to also do this whilst there are monsters about, which is a little terrifying. <gasps> I got geode. Our first geode. Hopefully they don't cost more to open. I don't know. You never know with this mod pack. <laughs> I'm noticing as well, it said that taxes are on the second, but I didn't get taxed this time. I'm wondering if they've actually been nice about it and not taxed us literally on the second day in our game, because that would have sucked. And I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. <laughs> I'm also definitely going to take advantage of the rain and get these mixies planted. Okay, these slimes are definitely harder to hit now. Oh, there's slimed in here too. Oh no, there's monsters even in the cave. I'm definitely going to need some lights in here so I'm not accidentally hit by a monster I don't see. At least I know one of the things that is of least concern is probably going to be the energy because uh, we're going to have to worry about hunger and thirst a lot more than that. And there's our level one foraging, so we do still get the same two recipes. And we made a very tiny amount of gold. First things first, let's get to water in. And I kind of still want to see what these um, dig spots might give us. Oops, I missed. Is it really always nothing? If it's going to be nothing still, I'm just going to leave it. Okay, so this one actually gave us rice shoots. That's actually a huge deal. So I wonder if this works the same? It does. Okay, lovely. Perfect. So there may or may not be something in the dig spot. Is that normal? I feel like when there's a dig spot outside, there's always something in it, but maybe I'm mistaken. I am actually going to make one batch of forage seeds too. I should probably get my watering can for those as well, although it's going to be a lot of watering every morning for not very much energy. So I don't know if this is the wisest choice. Maybe we only plant some and not all of them to begin with, although I think I'm going to regret it if I don't. Because I am kind of assuming, maybe boldly, that tea saplings work the same. So it looks like to check the bins, I actually have to double click on them. And there's nothing in them. So maybe certain days of the week. I think there's a mod called Garbage Day in there. So I don't know what day that's going to be. We're just going to have to check daily until we see something. So, backpack, how much are you? Okay, you're still 2,000 gold. That's a huge relief, actually. I mean, I'm nowhere near that amount, but it's still a huge relief. I'm going to see how long it takes Abigail to leave her room as well, because uh, I do want to meet her. We have got Sam as well to sort. Actually, Caroline, are you here? Can I give you a daffodil? Yes, I can. Here you go. I will say hello as well. Oh, friendship is so much slower also. Oh no. Okay. We're just going to have to hope that Caroline gives us a board request. I'm going to see if she moves when it hits 10. And if not, I'm going to check the board outside because I didn't actually look. So maybe tea saplings aren't going to be the speedy strat that we thought they were going to be. But hey, we can keep trying. I mean, it's still going to take some time. So I did just look up and she doesn't actually leave her room until half 12. So that would be a huge waste of time if I was to just sit here. What I'll do is I will fish in town and then we'll 
speak to her when she's on her way out to the clinic. Or actually, can we swim in the river? We can. We can't seem to dive in this part of the river though. So maybe it's just down at the beach that we can dive. Actually, where am I going? I'm, I need to fish. To be fair, I might as well just eat the algae for now. It doesn't seem to give us any hydration, which is interesting because it's a plant. So you would have thought it does. Wow, some trash. I just heard a door go. Is that Abigail? No, it was Pam. But she is just about to leave her room. So I might just um wait for a minute. There she is. Let's be careful not to give her a pair of trashed glasses. And there's Elliot. Wait, we have to meet you too. <gasps> Perfect. Now it's only Sam. So let's go see if he's out of his room. <gasps> okay, so some bins do have stuff in them. I noticed that the inside of the bin looked red when there was something in it. I'm very grateful to see two items of food though, and it's good that you can get more than one. Oh, he's still in his room. Let's check Sam's schedule. Okay, so like half an hour and he'll be out. Maybe I just try and catch a fish here. Ooh, I wonder if I can dive in this bit because it's deeper. And I think he comes outside anyway, so it'll kind of work out perfectly. Perfect catch. And a fishing level up. Perfect. Lovely. So I should be able to meet Sam now. That's everyone. And we'll give him a daffodil. Thanks, but my allergies. <laughs> oh no. I didn't realize that he probably wouldn't like that. All right, let's try diving in here. So can we dive down here? I know that F is the dive button. Okay, we're going to try at the beach again because it keeps just bringing up my journal. And I wonder if that really is just because I'm going in a river and not the sea. Oh, there is a bubble spot there though. Should I take advantage of that for a bit? I probably should. Ah, I didn't mean to jump. Turn off auto jump. And how much does a small mouth bass give us? It does fill up our hunger bar quite a bit. Oh, so we've got some treasure with this one. Ooh, loads of coal and loads of geodes. Should I go and open these and just get our first artifact down? I probably should, right? It's 250 gold. It's worth it. Vince bin looks like it might have something inside. Oh, it's literally just glasses. Okay. Let's try the museum one as well. Geode. Okay, we've got four of them to open now. I'm not going to go home and get another one. I realized that Clint's literally about to close. We've got a first piece of copper as well. You don't have enough room. Oh, no. Um, okay. That's a shame because there's not enough time. In that case, we're going to run down to Willy's, sell our sunfish, and then check out the diving down here. Now that I've got my pickaxe, I'm hoping that it works like a crab. I don't know. I wonder if the chest is going to be in the same place today, actually. Right, so we'll get those sold off for a very tiny amount. Wait, how much was that? 10 gold each? Rubbish. I'm going to eat this bread as well. I'm assuming it's not going to give us much hydration, if any. No, none at all. So let's see. Okay, so diving does only work in... What's that? Okay, that's nothing. Do we see a chest today? I think these are like hermit crab things. There's the chest. So I need to swim up a little bit closer to it. Okay, so that seems to work. How does this work? How do I get this thing? <gasps> okay, so it, it came out. It came out. Wait, it's a type of crab. Let me let me get my breath back. Do I just have to keep going at it with a pickaxe? Oh, it's turning back into... Oh, it's moving a little faster. I guess we're going to have to land on top of it. I'm determined to get this thing wherever it is. Determined, I tell you. You put a chest in front of a loot goblin. You can't expect me not to want to hit it. Okay, cornering it seems to be the way to go. Okay, it made a break noise, but nothing happened. Can I hit it with my sword now? What? I'm so confused. Is this meant to be some sort of decoy thing? Is it not real? Oh, I'm so confused. Okay, well, that does literally nothing. I think I'm missing something here. If you've played this before and you know what that chest does, let me know in the comments. Have I done something wrong there? Or is that just how it is? I was going to fish for money, but I don't think that's even worth it. Although I guess if everything else is also harder, then maybe it is. Oh, the bubble spot has spawned right nearby. If I can get not trash though, that would be grand. It's nice to see an actual fish. Got the fisherman achievement for that as well. So we're all basic raw fish worth 10. I'm hoping something somewhere is going to be worth a little bit more than that. It is almost eight as well. Let's see how much I can fish here. And the bubble spot ran out. Of course it did. Ah, okay. So we're not, we're not fishing. We're not fishing because we're being attacked. Let's see what this field snack gives us actually, because I haven't tried that yet. Does that give us any hydration? No, it does not. And I suppose that makes sense. Okay, let's just run. What about the seaweed? That surely should give us some, right? No, no, it does not. I think I do want to make sure I've got a little bit of money at all times, just in case for buying emergency food. That's a purple slime. That's not what I want to see this early on. Okay, it's fine. It wasn't that bad to kill. Um, Oh, a frozen tear. That'll be useful. What do I drop for it? Slime, probably. That'll give us something to donate. I would sell a couple of the herrings, but it's literally 20 gold. So maybe I don't bother. I do think the mines will be open today, though, so that should help. I probably should go down and see if there's any more spring onions. Ooh, there's the traveling merchant, too. Good morning, Clint. Are you here for the furnace recipe? Because I think you are. Thank you very much for the blueprints. And let's see if this has changed any. Yeah, it has. I think we only need 20 copper. So it's doubled. The recipe is doubled. I think probably the most essential recipes have. We've got the hat mouse unlocked and the mines today. So let's put away our fishing rod and we're going to pop over to the mines. I think I'm going to bring the two chub with me because they're pretty decent food. I almost forgot to water my plants. That would not have been good. I'm going to eat one of these fish now. Just worried about the hydration a little. <gasps> Parsnips. Let's get all those. I'll take a hundred gold. Thank you very much. We're all watered up and let's see. Oh, I haven't got my hoe with me. I'm just going to leave them. How much are they worth? They're worth 25 gold. So I'm going to sell half and 
We'll keep eight. Bit, bit less than half we're gonna sell. We need some money. Oh, I really wanna move the shipping bin. It's in such an annoying spot. Oh, and we have a horse radish. Oh, I just realized as well. We can't really do the mines without a chest. I don't think I have that much wood. Right, order of business. We're going to leave all this stuff behind, go down to the traveling merchant, and then we're gonna get some spring onions. <laughs> that is the one thing I will say is because of playing slightly differently or very differently in this particular playthrough, it's making my brain like all over the place. Like, you know, we all know because of my ADHD, it does that anyway. But when I have to like think a lot more about what I'm doing, it's like so much worse. So I could get the puffer fish and the blueberry for the community center, but I don't think, no, it's not worth buying anything today. I just realized because we have a harder community center, so I don't even know if any of these are going to be in there. Like usually on a normal playthrough, the blueberry would have been a very good purchase because it's going to get us ahead for the summer crops. But uh, in this one, they're probably going to be like gold quality or you need like loads of them. So it's, it's not worth it. Now I'm glad to see there are some spring onions, so we're not just down here for literally no reason. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to salmon berry season this time. There wasn't that many spring onions though. I mean, there's more than none, so that's something. Okay, yes, yeah, so they definitely have changed the amount of XP you get from chopping trees, because if I chop down this one, I've only got four XP there. I think usually in a normal game, it's 12. So leveling and such is going to be a hell of a lot slower. <laughs> I almost just completely dehydrated myself. Oh, I was on zero out of 100, so that really was very, very close. I'm so glad I realized. All right, so I now have enough wood, so let's put everything away. Do I have any pine cones to make a field snack? No, I don't. It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll bring all the herring with me. Marlon's also here to give us a sword, but mine better, so I'm gonna skip it. So let's go ahead and plop everything in the chest here that we don't need. I'm gonna leave the leek behind as well. I think I'm actually gonna scarf down a lot of these uh, spring onions here as well, because we do need the hydration. And it does mean just kind of getting rid of a inventory slot a little bit earlier. All right, I'll leave one left. It's not going to take us long to need it anyway. Let's see how far down we can get today. Ooh, I see some crates. Give me something good. Maybe a ring or something. I mean, I'll take the wood to be fair, especially because I need double of them to make chests. Oh my God, the bugs are so much faster. What the heck? And also are there slimes like a little bit more tanky in this? I feel like they are a little stronger than they usually would be. Oh no, I'm slimed. Do not die. Don't die. We're gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Got our first little amethyst. I am almost out of energy, so let me eat these other two herring. They don't actually give you that much energy at all. That's not ideal. I might not even make it to level five. Oh my god. Come on, I've got to be able to do this, surely. There's nothing even in here I can use for food. Please just let me get to five. How much have I got left? I've got five more hits. So one of these better have a ladder. I've just wasted one. Okay, two more hits. This one, this one, no. Nope. Okay, our only hope now is the slimes. Please give me a ladder. Nope, not on that one. Come on. Damn it. I truly have no energy. Okay, there's nothing really I can do about that. Let's get out of here. I can't believe that. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna leave the copper and the wood. Huh? Copper and the stone, I mean, up here. We'll bring everything else home. I think what I will do is grab a couple of salads from Gus. It's a shame we went a few minutes earlier because I could have donated this amethyst to the museum. Oh, and there's something on the board today. Let's have a look. Willie wants a Joja Cola. I'm going to accept it. I don't have a Joja Cola, but uh, hopefully we'll get one eventually. Ooh, Caroline's here. I don't really want to give away this amethyst, though. I mean, I still got the points in by speaking to her, so that's something. I noticed as well all the lids are off the bin, so I wonder if like they reset only on certain days. I'm waiting for Jodie to go back in, or is it a bug? I think it's a bug. I'm not entirely sure because it made the lid noise as I walked past it. <gasps> There's a dandelion. Quick, grab it. And I'm probably just going to end up eating the leek for a bit of energy and a bit of hydration. I think what I'll do is I'll keep the frozen tear on me for now and then I can actually donate it when I want to. I'm really going to need another chest soon though. <laughs> this is not good. I might end up just going to sleep at this point because I feel like there is not much I can do really with the amount of energy I don't have. And then tomorrow we'll hopefully see what the community center is about. I'm so nervous. Actually, no, it's going to be the Sunday, isn't it? Because we read the plaque tomorrow and then we're going to get the wizard mail the next day. Well, in that case, we're definitely going to fish and I need to try and not get distracted by anything else and just fish for food. We do have a couple more parsnips, so that's good. And I'm just remembering something about the seed shop progress. I do think I actually have to befriend PM more to get that. I can't remember how it works. No, never mind. For year one, it's literally just like a small selection. It will grow in year two. But I do have to be good friends with him by year two to get more variety. So we know the pantry is probably not going to be doable this year. I just realized as well, I brought my pickaxe out and I really don't need it. So let's leave that behind. Is there anything I can bring for food for now? I mean... I have one single chub. I could just eat it and then we are hydrated. Just a little better anyway. We also have a couple of leeks here. I think I have to wait till eight anyway just to get the community center cutscene. You know me. It's one of those early cutscenes. We're going to skip it. You know what that looks like by now. We'll get the plaque done and then we should have the mail tomorrow and we can find out. I'm so nervous. <laughs> now the question is, do I keep these leeks to eat or do I just sell them straight away? I might end up selling them. I do need to keep some room in my inventory. There we go. I mean, it's only a tiny amount of gold, but gold is gold. I should probably talk to Pierre whilst 
whilst I'm there too, right? We've got a tiny amount of Pierre. I should probably talk to Caroline also whilst I'm here. She is very close to getting a heart now. And it'll be rude not to say hi to Abigail too whilst we're here. All right, let's get these first two artifacts down. That 250 gold is going to go a long way. We're almost halfway to our backpack upgrade. And I was going to go fish by the sea, but I don't think it's worth it because uh, Willy's not even there to be able to sell fish anyway. Probably our best bet is going to be just to sit right outside the mines because then I can just dump it in the mines chest and then bring them home later if need be. And thankfully there's a bubble spot as well to help us out. It doesn't look like I was in it, but when I cast, I definitely got the blue sparkles, so we're all good. Oh, come on, it ran out already. I mean, two's better than none, right? I'll just have to listen out for another one later on. This fish has some treasure. Give me that. Oh my god, I just got it in the nick of time. Six coal, that's a lot of coal. That's very helpful. Next time I come up to the mines as well, I do need to remember to bring like, I think I've got like a single piece of copper ore and some coal back down in my home chest, so I need to remember to bring that with me up here. Okay, so I noticed that bull heads are worth a little bit more, so I'll probably keep them to sell. Maybe it's just the fish that are 10 gold that I'll eat. I mean, I might sell a few off here and there just to make a little bit more money, but uh, I think it's time for us to eat one of the chubs because our hydration's getting kind of low. There we go. Phase this first quarter. Still don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know moon stuff. But hey, we'll get to learn over time what that means in terms of stardew. Just gonna take a quick walk down here and make sure I've not missed out on a bubble spot. I thought they usually do make a noise, but I realized at the beach I didn't necessarily hear any. Let's say hi to Abigail before I can't speak to her. Oh, I've already spoken to her today. Never mind, ignore me. I just realized as well, I don't really have to worry about backpack space when it comes to fishing up here because there's only a few types of fish that I can catch here. And because I'm using the training rod, they're all gonna be basic quality, so it's gonna be fine. Got a treasure chest with this one. What's gonna be in it? Ooh, I'll always take another chub. Um. Oh, a geode. Okay, lovely. I guess that's the only thing I might need backpack space for is if I get a load of random treasure or trash. I'll fish till late and then I'll head home because once the monsters start spawning, you literally like can't stay still for that long. Another treasure chest, I'll have that. I feel like I'm getting decent luck with the treasure chest today, even though it's not really the best luck day. Not that I'm complaining or anything. What are we going to get in this one? I'm getting a lot of coal today. <laughs> All right, let's begin to put these away. Actually, I should probably try and catch one more at least. Hopefully I can do that before the clock strikes eight. There we go, we managed one more. Literally just dropping off the coal here and then we'll head home. I'm glad as well that we've managed to pick up some bait today for the fiberglass rod in the future. It's going to be hard to raise the funds for that though, I feel like. Right, looking at our fish situation, we've got quite a few of these and quite a few of those. So I'll keep two of each and then we will ship the rest. It's not going to get us a huge amount of gold, but it's still like 100, which is 100 more than I would have had. I'm probably just going to sell the bone fragments for now as well, because they're actually worth more than the fish. Maybe skeleton farming is the way to go, just for a bit of easy early gold. Yeah, see, I've got like coal and stuff down here, so we'll definitely be moving that up. Yay, 153. Okay, we've got our first queen of sauce today. Let's learn that stuff. Is it stuff right? Yeah, it's stuff right. Knew it. That was a good guess. And we're going to go see the wizard today. It's also Lewis's birthday, so let's pick up a daffodil to give him. Actually, he's probably going to like a parsnip more, isn't he? We'll bring the parsnip. We can't not check the traveling merchant on our way past. We've got a sea urchin. I'm going to wait for the 300 wood for that. Mind you, I don't know. Okay, we've seen what there is here. We've got some flowers and such, and we've got a grape down there. But let's go and unlock the community center and see what we need. Now, I think what I might do is I might just use UA Info Suite to have a look question mark if I can. We may or may not have to go all the way to the community center and we don't have time to get high with the wizard so we'll just skip that cutscene. We'll, we'll say hello to him too and let's see. Yeah we can have a look in here. So moment of truth. Spring foraging bundle. They all need to be gold star. I haven't got a single gold star piece of forage so far. We've got the sticky bundle. That's just the usual 500 sap so maybe that's one of the ways to go. Wait there's another sticky. Wait slime eggs? How am I gonna do that? There are two sticky bundles. So I need a thousand sap and three slime eggs. <laughs> Lovely. The rest of them are just literally gold star versions, although the exotic foraging, I need all of these. Interesting. And with the full foraging one, we need 99, uh, oh no, we need 99 salmon berries here too. No. Okay. So <laughs> we got to get our foraging game up. I'm thinking community center wise, like trying to aim for the 500 sap first might be the way to go. I'm not entirely sure though. Let's just, uh, we'll do a little foraging loop down here. What level of foraging am I at the moment? I think I'm just level one, aren't I? Oh yes, level one and like a quarter-ish or a third, I don't know. I can't really tell by the bar. Almost a third, I'll say. My brain's not working for maths this morning. Oh my god, yes, forage. Every piece will count. <gasps> Look at all those spring onions as well. Ideal. Do I need that one? Oh my god, yes, we've got our first piece for the community center. We are off. Oh my god, two. Well, this is going surprisingly well already. <laughs> I should probably just go donate those straight away just to get them off of my inventory. And I'm going to eat the two silver ones as well for uh, mainly hydration, we'll say. It looks like the better the quality, it doesn't actually increase the amount we get. So let's try a basic one. Okay, so it gives nine hydration instead. So it makes plus one hydration to eat a better quality one. All right, the lid 
No, the, the lids are still like messed up. Ooh, a Jojo Cola. Who needed that? Damn, I missed the quest. Oh well. Well, we've got a Jojo Cola now in case anyone else asks for one at some point. Now, where is Lewis this morning? Is he still in his house? I think he is. I've got a field snack in his trash as well. I'm going to take that with me. Mind you, a Jojo Cola probably gives some good hydration. All right, have a parsnip. Oh, they're neutral? I would have thought it would have been a light gift. How dare you? I grew that very lovingly in my garden. I'm thinking these trashes are empty. This one's got a lid on it again. Another Jojo Cola? Actually, if we've got two, maybe we can drink one and see what it does. Let's see. How much hydration? 29. Okay, so Jojo Cola is actually going to be decent. Jodie wants a flounder. Probably not going to get that. I accept it anyway because there's no like consequence to not doing them. And then like just in case I happen to do it. I mean, I doubt I'm going to catch flounder today. But you never know. Come on, give me a gold daffodil. Damn it. Now, obviously, <laughs> we've only just unlocked the first room. So this is just a taste of what's to come. So let's drop these two things off because they need to be here. And then we need the gold of the other ones and 99 salmon berries. So salmon berry season is a must. Does mean we're not going to be able to rely very much on them for food this year and hydration. But I mean, it's worth it in the long run, you know. Might as well grab some of this fiber. I don't want to grab all of it. I'm going to let some of it spread. I did mean to leave more than like a few, but that's fine. There's usually some over here as well. Let's have a look. Not enough for me to want to harvest just yet. Vitals are looking pretty good so far. And I think from now on, I might only go into the mines on a good luck day or at least a good ish luck day because like it's already hard enough in general let alone when the luck is going against us of course we've got to make sure we've checked all of this area for forage too nothing so far i mean i really want to give linus a gift but i don't really want to sacrifice any of my forage <laughs> maybe we just don't do that so now you can see why i didn't bother buying anything at the traveling merchant because it's just not worth it <gasps> leak damn it it's not gold i was really hoping we could make one more set of forage seeds that'd probably be a good shout and then I'm going to get my axe out as well because we're going to need it for chopping as much wood as possible because we're going to need... Oh no, I forgot to water my crops in here anyway. I'm so glad I came in here. But we're going to need a lot of sap, so <laughs> I need to keep on top of that. I still can't get over the fact that I'm going to need a thousand sap for that one room. I've deliberately not put my pickaxe on my person because I don't want to hit some rocks like by accident. Well, not even by accident, but like forget what I'm doing and waste energy and hunger and thirst on things that I don't need to do right now. It's more of like an anti-distraction method. <laughs> And I think I'm literally about to burn through most of my spring onions in one sitting. I wasn't going to make that many field snacks, but I do realise that when I chop trees, I'm still going to need them for energy. Like, look how much difference that makes. I'll save the other one for in a minute. I think at this rate, I'm going to decimate literally every single tree on my farm today. But hey, we definitely got enough wood for another chest now. I do notice this little path here. I wonder if this is going to open up at any point or if it's meant to be like that. I don't know. But it looks like there's a secret path situation going on there. And I'm intrigued as to if that opens up a little bit later on. I don't know. Like, there's no reason it's like that. Which is definitely a mystery. I am now going down to the forest to chop some trees there because I've run out of pine cones and they're good for the field snacks for energy. I didn't think we'd have to worry too much about energy and it was more our hunger and hydration, mainly our hydration, but uh, it seems that we do still end up running out of energy with this kind of thing. I also just remember that you actually do have to chop the stumps here because otherwise they're not going to regrow. There's a dandelion here we missed earlier too. Shame it's not gold. Check the middle bit actually. I don't think I checked this earlier. I am also curious what happens if we drink the raw water. Like, is it going to make us sick? I know we are supposed to boil it technically. Okay, so I got minus one max energy. Something like that. I mean, I can deal with minus one max energy. I'm not too fussed about that. Also minus one speed. That's also fine. I mean, it really helped our hydration so like to me that's worth it let's see if we can grapple with trying to cut down trees at the same time as fighting monsters i'm hoping it'll go okay mind you i think i've actually cut down every tree on the farm now um let's see yeah i'm not noticing a single tree i think i've got them all that's all right though oh first monster of the night that is of course and i think i'm just gonna ship this one dandelion just for the shipping achievement i don't know if those trees count as tree trees no they don't you can tell that's fine it didn't have like a hand icon when i hovered over it oh i did miss one tree there we go we've definitely got them all now it's just stumps now let's see how many monsters i can kill tonight on my farm what just hit me oh it was a it was a dust sprite i don't want to die but at the same time it's good to like farm for these things and also get the xp for combat too i think we still get combat xp on our farm i didn't actually check i need to see i think this line just walked onto our farm i see a dandelion up there go ahead and grab that might as well kill everything else out here as well i cannot wait to get a glow ring as well i think that's going to help us be able to see the monsters because they do just kind of come out of nowhere all right, let's check the farm. So did that slime get on the farm? No, it just disappeared. Unless it's the one over there. Okay, so we don't get farming XP on the farm. I need to remember that. I'm going to sell a few of these algae and uh, might as well sell both of those. Should we sell all the slime for now? Whoa, acorns? Acorns are worth a lot. I mean, no harm in getting rid of a few of those, I guess. Let's just ship all of these. How much are field snacks worth? They're only five. Okay, so I'll leave those alone, but I will eat the chub before bed because our health and our hydration need some help. I think that was a pretty successful first week. I mean, obviously, ooh, level one bidding. So this is like a trash skill. Plus 2% chance of bonus trash drop. 
Oh, okay, so there's a garbage skill with this. I do love the little mods that have been added to this. A lot of them I haven't actually seen before. And it's definitely going to be a struggle. Oh, wait, is that the moon that's like out tonight? There's literally so much to learn. It does kind of feel like playing almost an entirely different game, a much harder version of the game. But let me know in the comments if you're going to be trying out this challenge or if you're going to be following along in any way. I'm really excited about this. And having played Stardew, you know, quite a lot over the past like 18 months or so, I'm really happy to be putting what I've learned to the test. Even if some of it is very significantly different in this mod pack, there's just something about modern Stardew that makes the experience so much better in my opinion. Or at least it like freshens it up is what I mean. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much to my channel members and I will see you in the next video. Bye!